know how dangerous and seriously debilitating strokes can be. During an acute stroke, oxygen deprivation means millions of brain cells die every minute. So one of the critically important things about dealing with strokes is speed of diagnosis and treatment. Quite simply, the faster these happen, the less damage is done to the brain. One of the problems currently is that exact diagnosis and required treatment does not start until the stroke victim gets to hospital. This could all change now, thanks to a microwave-based development from researchers from Chalmers University of Technology, the Salgrenska Academy and Salgrenska University Hospital in Sweden. Called Stroke Finder, this is a helmet-like device that is placed on the patient's head which examines the brain tissue using microwaves. The signals are interpreted by the system to determine if the stroke is caused by blood clot or bleeding. This ability to differentiate between the causes of the stroke is of course important. But going back to that critical time element when it comes to dealing with strokes, the great thing about Stroke Finder is it could possibly be used by ambulance crews while transporting the stroke victim to hospital, thereby saving considerable time and cutting the amount of brain damage. Tests with ambulance crews are planned for this autumn. So, how does it work? The antennae of the helmet sequentially transmit weak microwave signals into the brain. At the same time, the receiving antennae listen for reflected signals. The brain's different structures and substances affect the microwave scattering and reflections in different ways. The received signals give a complex pattern which is interpreted with the help of advanced algorithms. Based on this data, the system can diagnose bleeding or a clot. Bleeding is particularly pronounced and therefore readily diagnosed, but an area with a clot and oxygen deficiency can be a little harder to define. But this microwave system can distinguish those from brain bleeds. So, Stroke Finder is undoubtedly a hugely significant breakthrough when it comes to treating strokes especially when you know that approximately 15 million people in the world suffer from a stroke each year. Thanks for viewing.